What is up guys, Big Dippers 98 back here with another video and today we're going to talk about where I've been, what I've been doing and we're also doing another dip review on something we already did but I thought I'd bring it up again because I haven't seen it anywhere else except like one gas station I know of so um, yeah we're going to jump right into it here we go um, now I'm not going to take a pinch of this, uh, I've had a few pinches out of it, uh, yesterday and today, and I don't feel like doing it anymore right now, it's kind of getting old, uh, that is Copenhagen Mint, but what we are dipping on today is my all year round dip, Copenhagen Wintergreen, so let's pack a lip. Squish, squish, squish. So, I'm trying to take a hog right here. That looks pretty decent. Mm. Look at that right there. That's my love. That's what she loves. Anyways. So, to start the video off, spitting in a fucking bottle, my jug's at home, I'm at my dad's studio today, if you guys live in Canton, or in Ohio in general, that's close to Canton City, it's my dad's art, uh, tattoo studio, all licensed, everything, so it's awesome. Um, yeah, so where have I been? Well, I dropped out of high school once I turned 18, and ever since then, I started working on my GED, but then I needed and wanted a job, so I've been working, and not only working, but, you know, trying to get everything else in line, like a car, my license, I mean, I have my temps now, but I still need my license, and it's just, it's a, it's so much stress. Um... Like, I was fired yesterday. Kiss some stupid bitch. <clears throat> no, no, no. Cunt. Cunt is a better word. Um, so, yeah. And now, I might have a job this weekend already. So, like, I got fired. And that was yesterday. Today, I went for an interview. Instantly. Like, I applied last night after I got fired. And I called this morning, and they're like, hey, come in at 2 o'clock, we got an interview for you. I was like, fucking static. I went in there, and I hope it went good. So, if you guys live in Canton and you see me at Lowe's, remember, I'm at work, you son of a bitch. Anyways, um, other than that, looking for a car-wise, um, or truck. I've been looking at a few things. I looked at a Toyota Celica GTS. It was pretty nice. I don't know whether to get manual or automatic. So whatever you guys think, leave down in the uh, comments below. Tell me what you think is better, manual or auto. Either way, it's still a four-cylinder. Don't give a fuck. It hits like 160. So pretty nice cars. I've also been thinking about getting a truck now I do want a high country if any of you guys have seen those I think it's Chevy that came out with them I believe it's Chevy uh, high country is really fucking big it's got a bunch of USB chargers got even a like a normal wallet plug-in which was really cool um, I watched the video on one they're nice as hell I love the crew cab crew cab edition it's ten times bigger than the single cab which the single cab actually I think costs like ten to twenty thousand less but the crew cab is so nice because it's actual real leather and the system goes all throughout and just overall the whole trucks really big I mean for a crew cab normally they take away some of the length off the bed itself but this has a full-size bed that a single cab would 
plus the crew, so not too bad. But as I said, for review, <clears throat> yeah, I got paint on my fingers, if you guys can see. Dip and paint go together so well. Um, Kelvin Hagen Mint. Kelvin Hagen Mint came out, say, about a year ago, I believe. Maybe two now. 2016. Yeah, I think it was 2015, 2014. When this first came out, I was so excited to try it. And when I first tried it, it wasn't actually that bad. It did burn like a bitch. I don't know if I said that in my video or not. It burnt like a bitch, but... Um... I don't know, it's just, it's weird now. Like... The five packs of gum, like the number five gum, kind of tastes like this. Like if you get the blue spearmint, kind of tastes like that. That that spearmint kind of tastes. And this is actually, I think this is made by the same company as Skull. I think Skull is also made by U.S. Smokeless. I'm not sure. I'll have to check my Skull cans for my next video. But yeah, this shit I do not really like anymore. Like, if I'm going to meet somebody or, you know, talk to somebody, I'll throw a pinch in because it actually does smell good. And when you spit, it don't smell so bad. Now, Copenhagen Wintergreen. I love Wintergreen, but Copenhagen Wintergreen smells horrid. Like, when my dad's around me or my family's around me, you know, they kind of get that face of like, uh, you're spitting shit out of your mouth. But with this, I really don't get much complaints by anyone. And I think it's so dumb that they still have this in some areas. Like I said, I can only find it at one gas station where I live. But they couldn't keep the 6-in-1 can for Grizzly. That 6-in-1 can was like $21, which was a fair price because it was 6 cans. A log here is like $14.59 if it's Copenhagen Wintering. And that's with tax. This was like... 16 or 17 a log and like I said 14.59 for a log 17 something for a log that makes no sense wintergreen's more popular than mint like when mint came out I only saw a few dippers doing mint I normally saw wintergreen though like that's what I carried every day this shit I had at home sitting on my fucking bed and it was like whenever I wanted to take a pinch I would take a pinch but it wasn't really like I just wanted to go, oh, hey, you know, I got fucking Copenhagen Mint. It's so amazing. I'm awesome. No, let's talk about the 6-in-1 can. The 6-in-1 can was really nice. I think it had, this has, what? Shit, I'm trying to think. This has 1.2 ounces. So let's, let's do the math. Um, 1.2 times 6, that was 7.2, 7.2 ounces. Now, if it's 34.02 grams times 6, that was 204 grams. Of tobacco, 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 whatever you want to call it. So, it was actually, I think the Grizzly can is a little bigger, like probably like a centimeter bigger than the Copenhagen can. So, that number might be like 1.3. So, just round it up. But, it really pissed me off that they took it off. Um, in my one video, you guys saw me and Aaron, or Country Boy, as I like to call him. We had the special guest that night, David Kazi. And, uh, <clears throat> we dipped that can in about a night's worth. Uh, we actually stayed up all night, watching movies and shit, hanging out. And when he first got there, he did not crack at all. He just wanted to show it off, and he was like, hey, you know, I got the 6-in-1 can, we're not cracking it. 
So, um, I finally did talk him into cracking it for the video. But that was probably like five hours after he got to my house. And we uploaded it the same night we made it because we were just so awake. Like, we put in big ass hoggers. I remember I had a big ass hog right here. And he, he had like a medium hog, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. It actually did taste better. I don't know if it's because it was so big. Maybe they balanced out the salt more for the wintergreen. Because I know Copenhagen, when I'm chewing it, or when I got it in, I'll like move my teeth around and get some dip out of my teeth. And I'll get like salt crystals in my teeth. And they actually hurt biting on, but, you know, it ain't too bad. So that, that was pretty good. Um, the other two dips I have tried. <clears throat> um, you guys might be familiar with this if you've ever had it. It was Tough Guy Tobacco. Or no, Tough Guy Chew, it's called. It's a very fat cut tobacco. They have vanilla, um, cinnamon, lemon, orange, and a couple other flavors. But I ordered orange and I ordered vanilla and I ordered two log or one log each, so I had two logs total. And it cost me like thirty bucks to get it because anything over ten bucks, it's free shipping. So it was shipped probably about two days from me ordering, and then I got it two days after that. So it was about four days till I got it. But um, I have to say, the vanilla. The vanilla wasn't vanilla. It was more of like a coconut kind of flavor. Um, I really didn't like it. I mean, it was it was ten times better than the orange. I still have two cans of orange, and it they're just disgusting. Like I went through three of them because at a point it was it was okay. Like the first time I tried it, I was like, uh, and I kept dipping it, and was it got a little better. And then it just hits you and it's like, wow, this tastes like ass. So, I will never invest in that again. And as well, with like, the vanilla, you crack it open, and you get a whiff, and it's like, it's like Almond Joys. Like, if you guys ever had Almond Joys, or the, the coconut candies, I think that is Almond Joys. Um, that's literally what it tastes like. Like, with the chocolate and all. So... If you guys like that kind of stuff, go over to Tough Guy Chew. Uh, you have to be 21 to order. Me, I was an exception because I used somebody else's birthday. So that that was okay because my parents said I could. But, yeah, well, I'm 18. Fuck them. But, um, yeah, I don't, if you don't like coconut, don't get it. Because that's what you're going to get is a coconut flavor and you're probably going to hack and it's just disgusting. But I hope to do another video soon. I've been really busy and I apologize. And I'll see y'all later.